doesn't matter if it's a hiker style boot or a traditional rubber boot, this tip can actually improve any of your hunting boots. So to get things started, this actually came from outside of the hunting space and it was something I found out uh, a little bit due to my athletic background and running a lot of miles for, for college soccer. And if you look at what is in these shoes, this one kind of came out of this rubber boot. I mean, this might as well be cardboard from the bottom of your boot. Uh, my hiker boot had a texturized cardboard guy. So slightly better, but still nothing great. But something I learned was getting aftermarket insoles. And there's a variety out there and anywhere between say 25 to $55, you can get a aftermarket insole. And what it's got here, at least this brand that I use, uh, it's got a, a better uh, support across the arch of your, your feet, uh, your heels, and it's actually got extra padding on the balls of your feet, which are important. But anybody doing significant miles is, is definitely, this is a good ad. I cannot believe these higher end boots do not come with something better. And, you know, your feet are essentially what feeds the rest of the body systems from your hips, your knees, your low back. All that comes through your feet. So definitely taking care of those is, is a high priority um, and definitely overlooked in the whitetail woods, especially, you know, we are semi-approaching shed season at this point. So uh, punch these into Amazon. They're also available at like hiker stores. They're on the end caps at say like a Cabela's. So those are a few locations you can find them. Just thought I could share this quick tip for you guys. I appreciate you tuning in. Team Harder and Bucks, we're out.